Hi everyone, I'm back with a cleaning video today. So I'm going to start with the bathroom. Here's the before. And I'm going to be doing the living room and kitchen. But it did take me a couple of hours in real life. And to fit everything into one video, I did um, speed everything up. So it's going to be a speed clean. So you'll have to let me know what you think. There must have been at least an hour's worth of stuff I had. And by the time I sped everything up, and pull it all together it was 16 minutes i was hoping it'd be over 20 minutes but um let me know what you think i man so i managed to fit in all the cleaning i did this morning in one video whereas i could only fit in one or two rooms normally but i know you say the videos are relaxing so let me know if it's not like relaxing anymore because i've sped it up I won't do it all the time, but if I've got a lot on, like a lot of cleaning and tidying to do, I can put it all together and speed it up. So my partner wore this like the day before or something like that, and I got it all washed and dried, and it did not have whatever the marks were on before, so I chucked it back in the dirty wash. I'm going to try washing it again. And I got on the floor to tidy all the little bits that fall down. And all the bits that end up on the radiator. So I've done a lot of washing bits as well in this video. And I thought I'd give this shelf a bit of a tidy up. There's so much stuff that goes on it and it just ends up looking like a right mess in the end. I, get, I need to sort through the stuff in the drawers by the toilet. I should have done it but I thought there'd be way too much stuff going on in this video. So I put out some wet washing in the bathroom. And this is a nightie my mum got me. She likes buying me like nighties and pyjamas. So I put out the little bit of wet washing that was in that basket. And then all the washing I sorted out a minute ago, I did just chuck it in the hallway for now. But then I did put it in the empty basket and take it through. So after all that, I've got the, that washing under control. I've got about two loads of washing in the hallway that I'm going to take through and do. So after I did that, I moved on to the bath. And I just started by taking all the bottles off. There's so many bottles. We do not need to buy any more bath stuff for a long time. And it just gathers dust there. And as you can see, some like liquid from one of the shower gels. So I use my Astonish bathroom cleaner. I cleaned the top part, um, the top part, the bottom part of the tiles, and then I did the bath and right sections. It wasn't as bad as it was the other week when it was like mud in there. So this is the after. The bath's all clean. I've done most of the tiles, and then I'll just put all the stuff back on. I think I really needed to clutter some of that stuff. And then I moved on to the shower screen. It wasn't that bad. Just a few fingerprints on it really. And then instead of using the glass cleaner, I don't know why, I'll just reach for the same spray I did with the, um I used with the bath. But it still come up really nice. And then, as usual, I moved on to the mirror and then the sink area. So it wasn't that mucky. A few bits in the sink. So I worked the whole day the day before. And as you can imagine, this place needs kept up daily with a messy toddler. And then it's just, it was a nightmare. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was going to take as long as it took, but it did. So I was so relieved when it was done. But by the time I did get round to the like living room and kitchen, I did feel like I was like done. I'm over this. I'm tired. But I had to get it done. Otherwise, it would have just got worse for the next day. And then I started on the toilet. That's just like the cheapest toilet cleaner. I, I want to say Aldi, but it could be from Lidl. Got it in one of the last shops. And then I left that and I just used the bathroom cleaner just to clean all around the toilet. 
I think the worst of it was just the dust and, you know, little hairs coming off the microfiber cloths. So I did used to use bathroom wipes, but I thought, oh, I'll probably be better off using cloths. It is better, but they are annoying with all the little hairs that just get moved around. That take a while to come off. So I did stop at this point. I needed to tighten up that toilet seat. It was really wobbly. And then I put some of this stuff in the toilet. So I've been using this, but you'll be careful. It goes into lumps sometimes. And I'll squeeze the bottle to make it go all powdery again. I think it works. I want to say it works. So I did clean the toilet. And then I don't know what it is. There's a red mark on the toilet that won't come off. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to get my scraper. It looks like it could be like paint from Dylan's room, but the paint went nowhere near the toilet when I did that. So I don't know where that's come from, but I'm going to try and scrape that off. And then I moved on to the floor, pulled everything out, but then I had to pull it back in so I could sweep the rest of the floor. As you can see, it's such a small bathroom, you're just constantly pulling things out. And then I cleaned the floor, but because I didn't want to use like the flash mop in the bathroom than ever else, like thinking of hygiene, I thought, right, I'll just do what I used to do. I got some wipes and I got um, my astonished disinfectant spray and I just cleaned the floor by hand. Because normally I'd mop the floor last. I'd go, you do the bathroom floor last sometimes. But I don't want to like contaminate the mop, if you know what I mean. I just so I did it by hand. But here's the after, and I did turn that tap off fully off. It's annoying, it drips a lot. But here is the after. I was so pleased to get this done. I was so pleased to get on top of everything in the three like main rooms. So it got on top of the washing, got washing out. A little bit more organised. And then after this, I moved on to the living room. So here is Tiger again. I always catch him doing weird stuff on the table, all looking at me. So not too bad, could be worse, could be better as usual. So I started by picking all the stuff up by the sofa and off the floor, putting it away like little toys. And then I wanted to tidy up the sofa because all the cushions, well, she keeps getting the cushions out still. She plays in her tent but she is still pulling out the cushions chucking them on the floor or she piles them on top of the sofa to make like a tower and she'll sit on the top of it so I thought I'll pull the rug up give the living room a good sweep and that um the thing I put under the rug keeps going all lumpy I don't know why it shouldn't be moving or anything the rug isn't moving but then you can feel the rugs all lumpy from that underneath and then I hoovered the rug I need to empty that hoover. The red light keeps coming on, so I need to empty it. Then I quickly hoovered the crumbs on the sofa, folded up the blanket, and then that was it. So that thing there is her new play tent. There's not really anywhere else it can go, so it just lives there, really. And then I moved on to the washing, and then in she comes, in she runs. So I managed to finish the living room minus the washing and the bathroom before she managed to get up so i took anything that was dry off some bits were still damp and then i put some washing on there to dry so this is a new um era i got from home bargains i had to think then i wanted to say the range but no it was home bargains and you could fit i don't know about two loads of washing on it it's quite a big area. Again, there's not many places we can put it. I'm going to think of somewhere, try and think of somewhere else, but I don't think I will. And then all the washing I chucked on the sofa, I'm just going to fold up, ready to put away. 
I did put it on my bed and I put it away in the evening when I got back from work. So at this point, I'm hot, I'm ready to give up, I've got to keep going. Oh, this is one of Dylan's favourite t shirts, the Black Sabbath one. Um, I think, I'm sure he got it for Christmas. Yeah, I got it for Christmas off my partner's parents. So yeah, I'm wearing a, another unflattering outfit just because I knew it was going to get hot. Knew I was going to get sweaty. I just needed something I could run around in, tidy up in. And then that's the living room and that bit of washing taken care of. So then I moved on to the kitchen. Not too bad. A few crumbs on the worktops. The washing up needs doing. Um, the top of the oven needs doing. And then that bit of washing. And of course the floor. So I use this oven cleaner. I've been using it a lot lately since I got the new oven. I really want to keep on top of it, keep it clean. I would have left it for a while, but as you can see, it's not hard on. It's not it's not been left for days or weeks. That's like from the night before. So it comes off really easily. And I know I put way too much of the mousse on there, but that's all right, I'll take some of it off in a minute. But it comes off really easy, cleans up well. So as you can see on that big hob, it is starting to come up a bit, a little bit more rusty than it was when I got it. There was a couple of rust spots, but it's looking worse because I keep cleaning it. I am going to stop unless it's really bad because I obviously want this oven to last a while and I don't know how to prevent the rust or anything. And I don't know entirely what the best cleaner is. So I'm just going to clean them when they're really bad. I did clean them here and then I regretted it. I thought, oh, they're not bad. I shouldn't, I should have left them. And I am an idiot because I, um, so I wiped them obviously here. They're still damp. And then I put the hob covers back on. I should have left it to dry. That's not going to help. So when I do clean them when they're bad in the future, I'm going to leave the hob covers off for a bit longer till they dry. But I don't know what, I really love cleaning this hob. It's so good when it comes up all nice, white, shiny and clean again. And then I went on to the worktop. So as you can see, there's just some crumbs on there. I do want to pull everything out one day, clean like the tiles and under all the stuff. Because as you know, I've got a lot of stuff on the counters. But I think so, it's not so overwhelming. I'm going to have to do bits at a time not just pull everything out and do it if that makes sense because and then I'll just stand looking at it and think oh this is a lot so maybe in the next couple of weeks I'll do that just do um like clean the tiles down clean up under everything maybe try and get rid of some stuff off the counter so let me know what you think about this as well I um I put it on my tablet stand to get a bit closer to the worktops do you like so what do you like better, watching me clean or just focusing on the clean? Like you can see all the crumbs, me cleaning it up. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to let me know what you think of the whole speed cleaning. So I've done everything now. I just need to get on and do the floors and the washing up. So I did the washing up and put the dishes away off camera. Because I thought, at the time I thought, oh my god, this is a lot of stuff I've filmed. And I do worry about the um, camera storage sometimes. So I did do it off camera, the washing up. And then as you can see, I'm just cleaning off the draining board. And I'm going to do the sink as well. So as usual, I've run out of like, I think they're called J cloths. You know, the blue and white cloths. Or sometimes they're grey and white. And I haven't got any more. I should have got some more. So I'm using baby wipes and my disinfectant spray, my Astonish disinfectant spray. I really need to get some more. Oh, I thought this was cute. So Sophia just had some yogurts and she chucked a spoon in the sink, which is really good. It's more than Dylan does. He leaves it to pile up a little bit in his room then brings it through, unless I tell him. But I did remember thinking, I'm not washing up one spoon. That can wait until there's a little bit more. 
So I just took it out, cleaned up the sink and then just chucked it back in for later. But let me know if you prefer the closer up cleaning, I think it's better. But just let me know what you think. This, before I got my tripod I used um, my tablet stand. Um, I think it can get better angles in a way. But it's annoying when you want heights and you've got to pull it on top of things. So I swept the floor off camera. Then I'm just using my flash mop. And it was a bit like some stubborn bits by the dryer where the cat food goes. So I did put some spray on there. I love this floor when it's been cleaned. It looks so nice, but it never lasts. I'm lucky if it lasts half an hour to an hour without anything on there. So that is the kitchen all done. And as you can see, I use, I'm use i still using that as a table. That is annoying. I need to get rid of them bits. They've just ended up there. But that is it for the video. Please let me know your feedback. Let me know if you like the speed cleaning and stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.